Hi everyone and welcome back to the James Ray Show. What episode is this? Number six? Episode number six. And this is the show where I go over all of your comments and answer as many questions as I can within a reasonable amount of time. And once again, thank you guys for all the support and thank you guys for leaving your comments on all of my videos. So I'll try to get to as many as I can uh, for today. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, not waste any more time. Let's get to it right now. Uh, today I dropped the Thanos video and hopefully you guys will see my um, my reaction to the Black Panther hopefully uh, tomorrow by that by this uh, this time tomorrow uh, you'll see that tomorrow okay so let's get to the comments all right what an opening there you go <laughs> Paul Scott says OMG that Thanos looks amazing is amazing after Black Panther you should do Doctor Strange so we got to vote for Doctor Strange uh, Olivier Olivier, Olivier Gracias says Mabuhay Adobo. There you go. I got a fellow Filipino here. <laughs> there you go. Godium uh, Pax Celso Coves says I'm going with Captain America. Who would you like to draw from Infinity War? I don't know. Eh, pretty much anybody. I'm willing to draw anybody. But okay, so one for Captain America. Michelle Fernandez wants Ray from Star Wars. <laughs> I drew already drew Ray a lot, as you've seen already, so I can, I can hold it off on Ray. Uh, Nathaniel wants Iron Man. Jesse Jessica wants Old Man Captain America, so another cap. Uh, Agnaldo says Fantastico. Thank you very much. Uh, Knight of DK says Hi, James Box Office Artist. Get a T-shirt that says. It is what it is, and I will be your friend for life. <laughs> probably if I do get more popular, those would be two that two shirts that probably would work, you know, with a big face of mine, you know, on there. <laughs> Kins fam says Star Lord, vote for Star Lord. Okay, Prentar says amazing video once again. Thank you for so much for drawing Thanos. Looking forward to the Black Panther reaction. Would love to see Iron Man next. Been looking for the pilot color Eno LEDs and Sharpies for a while, and they've they are notoriously expensive in my country. So I use normal pencils with ink, paintbrushes, along with Micron pens. Honestly, it's good. And, and, and honestly, you don't need that stuff, guys. Uh, you probably could achieve the same thing with even a, a color pencil crayon. So it's not necessary. It's just something I'm uh, mostly comfortable working in. So Arthur Bonner has a great question. How do you balance being a dad and an artist? I just found out my wife is pregnant. I also vote for Vision. There you go. First of all, Arthur, congratulations. I don't know if this is uh, your first uh, kid or not, but congratulations. Uh, uh, fatherhood changes your life for sure. How do you b balance being a dad? Um, at the end of the day, you do you. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much the one to give marriage advice uh, to anybody for sure. But I am, um, well, I have been married. Next year will be my 15th anniversary. That's why we're going out. So I've been married for quite a while, have uh, three kids. And, uh, you know, you just try to find the time. You do the best you can every day. Um, but, you know, the best thing is to be in constant communication with your family. They know when to work and, and set aside time for the family because they're your family. You know, that's... Uh, uh, that's that's part of it, you know. Uh, part of life is not all work. It's part of you know. If you have a family, part of life is part of your responsibility too. As a dad, uh, like myself, is you should take care of your kids, you know. So you should always make time for them. So, but you do you. Everyone, you know, you do you. You know, whatever works for your family. I don't know what for your family. What works for mine is communication and always setting aside time for the family. So. You do the best you can. It's hard as a freelancer. It's hard, but you know you just have to be stringent and trying to set up time for those hours. And another thing, make every second count when you're with your kids or when you're with your kid. It's gonna be hard to draw. I'll tell you that right now. It's gonna be hard to draw with a newborn if this is your first kid. But um, just say you set aside two hours with your kid or set aside an hour a day with your kid. Don't spend that hour just on your phone sitting beside your kid because then you might as well be working at that time uh you know if you're gonna spend quality time with your kid actually spend some quality time okay that'd be my advice but again at the end of the day you know who am i to give uh family advice to anybody i know what works for us what works for us doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you guys so you find out what works well with you but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure communication is the key to any successful relationship and family okay so uh, we got Lenny has another vote for Vision. Joseph wants Falcon. There you go. Ryan wants Captain America, so I believe that's three for Captain America. 
Mick says, what kind of chair do you use? I always have a sore back. What about you? Uh, I do get sore back chair here and there. I just have this regular chair here. It works for the most part. My wife also got me one of those back uh, rest thingies, but I only use that if it's like a regular chair. Uh, this one does pretty good. It supports my lower back, so I'm okay. I don't get it as much. Um, maybe once in a while I'll get a, a sore back, but it's not too, too bad. Uh, Jacob says, do Infinity War Captain America. Okay, so there's another vote for Captain America. That's four. Justin wants Vision, so that's three for Vision. Uh, Dragon Fist wants Vision. <laughs> small. So it looks like a heat between Captain America and Vision. There you go. Ralph wants Onslaught. Uh, I, I, again, I mentioned this yesterday. I'd love to draw Onslaught. Uh, I, I love the character, but uh, I'm sticking to Infinity War because I want to finish all the Infinity War characters because I want to put them, put them together at the end, right? That's why. Uh, let's see here. Out of time, BTTF fans is bearded Captain America, so another Captain America. Captain America took the lead. Uh, Jordan says... Uh, hi James, you and your work are truly inspirational. I've always had a knack for more of a cartoon dra style drawing, but always wanted to develop my skills into more grittier comic book style that you are so gifted in. So my question is, how do I use your work as a reference and learning tool effectively to better learn, but not to end up being a second-rate James Ray's knockoff? That's a great question. And this is a question for anybody who um, has, um, you know, they have, you know, they have idols when it comes to art. Uh, you know, uh, special influences, all that. Again, I mentioned this before, the best way is to figure out, not just copy what uh, your favorite artists are doing, understand why they're doing it. Understand why. For example, why I use cross-hatching, because, you know, again, I'm trying to achieve the gradation of light going around different surfaces. Once you will fully understand why an artist does certain things, Right, and I'll tell you, it's just more because it look. It's not just because it looks cool. It's more because you know it feels that's the way actually, light will actually hit. That's the way I render. I'm always imagining how light would hit uh, the particular uh, character. Okay, so uh, if you apply those same principles to your art, then it will become your style instead of copying the artist that you admire. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. I could probably go in a little bit more in depth, but maybe we'll talk about that in, at another time. Okay. Sam wants a bearded cap, so that's uh, another one for a cap. I think that's six already. Um, Mahilo says, great video. I like how you drew his face. Thank you very much. Wellington wants uh, Doctor Strange. I think that's about three for Doctor Strange. Merrick says, uh, do you use lead holders? Uh, and your Inktober drawings are awesome. P.S. If I'm sorry if I read this comic wrong, I'm from the Czech Republic. Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, I... Uh, when you say lead holders, I used to. I used to use the, the Stadler lead holders, uh, the 2H lead. When I was drawing comic books, that was the standard. 2H lead, that was what pretty much we would work on. They were great because it was easier to ink off of, and they would erase uh, not too bad. So I did before, but not anymore. Nowadays, I just go straight to ink nowadays. So Batman goes, oh, we're halfway there. You're right. Rawls says May, uh, Iron Man and the new armor says so vote for Iron Man. Isaiah wants Gamora. I'd love to draw Gamora. I'd love to. Uh, Penaiotis Pen says great video and drawing. Love your vids. Please, P.S. Please draw Wolverine. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe not. Uh, for this month, though. But I probably will draw him later on, though. Ghost Rider, another one for Captain America. Right now, Captain America is pretty much in the lead. Tom wants Black Panther. You're in luck. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow. <laughs> Marco says, can you please do Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? So, another Groot. Uh, okay. Uh, T.F. Galago wants a Hellboy and liked three times. A lot of you want Hellboy. Again, I probably won't be doing Hellboy this month, guys. Maybe, maybe next month. We'll see. Grimish wants the Black Order members. Look them up. Each one's different. It's totally cool. Uh, yep. So uh, I, I believe you also put this on my other post there. So they do look uh, pretty cool. They do look pretty, pretty cool. So we'll see. We'll see, buddy. Uh, Art Adrian Barajas. Now draw Logan for a movie. Or Logan Day 16. Uh, I probably, again, I probably won't be drawing Logan. Uh, we're just going to stick to Infinity War characters for the rest of the month. So, uh, Shrish wants the alien from Battleship, maybe one of these days, but again, not, not this month. Louisa, Louisa says, cool. Stray wants the Iron Spider-Man. Uh, somebody hasn't been checking out my recent videos. 
Uh, Benedict wants Iron Man. Okay, another vote for Iron Man. Uh, by the way, guys, you know, uh, still vote tomorrow, okay? So this isn't the final vote here, because tomorrow's Black Panther. So uh, still do your vote on this video and uh, tomorrow's video, and from that I will decide what to do for Wednesday, okay? Uh, Kishan says, hi, I love to draw a comic and people, I especially, uh, I started drawing really late, I'm not sure if I could make a living as an artist, especially because I'm from India and so less opportunity in these areas. Can you give me uh, some advice? Thanks. Uh, first of all, it depends what kind of artist you want to be, uh, Kishan. Um, you know, age, you know, I I'll be lying if I, I said age didn't matter too much, but art is one of those things where you can get clients and they'll never see your face sometimes. So sometimes age doesn't matter. What matters is the quality of your work. Um, in the visual effects industry, it could pay a little bit of attention if you had to go to a studio, okay? So, um, but age aside, uh, you say you like to draw comics and people. Uh, can you make a living? It depends on, again, it depends on how good you are. At the end of the day, it depends on who can hire you. So again, nowadays with social media, it's a lot easier to get your work out there. So uh, I would say don't quit your day to day job. Just work in your spare time. Try to get your portfolio to something you show. And then share it. Share it with the world and whatever comes, comes. But I wouldn't uh, quit your job or anything, uh, especially if you're an uh, older age like myself. I probably wouldn't quit my job or anything like that until I knew there was something there. Okay, there was actually a hint that you could probably make some money off this thing. So that would be my your advice to you. So just keep working. Don't if you have a job, don't quit any job. Just work as hard as you can to build that portfolio to something that's hireable. Okay. Uh, Samuel says this trailer made me so happy. I love your work, and I really want to learn how to draw to draw at your level of experience. Thank you so much. Eric Lane says, on the time-loss videos, I find myself pausing the video to find out what microns you use. <laughs> Great work. Maybe I should say what microns I use, but but it's usually 005, up to, from 005 to 08. Uh, those are usually the three. Ramesh says, I would love to see one member of the Black Order. Uh, underlings of Thanos. Uh, these are Im There are images out there, so no spoilers. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you just mentioned that uh, before, for sure. Uh, Peter says, try drawing Michael Keaton Batman. Sure, why not? Bad artists want Teenage Groot. Okay, this is from my Rocket Raccoon uh, video, so. Uh, I'm not sure I answered these questions here. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. I didn't answer these questions. Okay. Uh, Christopher says, I like the question of the day, but I think it should talk... But I think it should be you talking as we see the drawing or a separate kind of video. Uh, it does seem longer uh, because I uh, listen to you go over the question after the drawing process. I feel like I was watching two separate videos. I agree. I agree, Christopher. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still trying to work it out. It's one of those things. I'm tasting. I'm trying to see what, uh, what works out. So... But I think it's kind of off, like watching a video and I'm not talking about... You know, I'm, I'm still trying to work it out, guys. I'm trying to figure out what's the best one, so... Maybe you guys can let me know. Do you agree with Christopher here? Or uh, do you, um, you know, or do you think I, sh you think I should do the question of the day, talk over the actual drawing video? Or should I keep it though as this is? I would love to know your feedback, because I'm still trying to work it out. We'll see. Sam says, Captain America, please draw him. Okay. Okay, so this is from yesterday's video, so that doesn't count, okay? Body weapon look right on Rocket. Yet something looks off about Rocket's face. Rocket's face is just a touch wider than normal. Is it too much black in the shading? I'm not sure. Not sure. But, uh, yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> Eric says, amazing job, man. You're very bold with that Sharpie. You laugh out loud. This is very helpful. Thank you, buddy. Rudy Cummings says, I love it. Scoopo says, Killjoy. Oh, uh, you were, you were, that was from my comic book art submissions where I drew Killjoy. That's right. Batman, JPD says, hey James, for someone trying to break into comics, do you suggest creating your own independent comics or try to make submissions for bigger companies like DC? Thanks. Uh, I would say both. Um, well, here's the thing. At the end of the day, it's a, how good a writer are you? How good a writer are you? If you want to create your own comic, uh, sure, you are trying to tell a story which is great. However, 
how good a writer are you at the end of the day? So if you think you're a good writer, nothing wrong with trying to do your own independent comic. Um, if your goal is to work for the big two, Marvel, DC, you might want to do samples. I would say if you had to choose either one, I would say do the sample submissions for DC and Marvel, uh, mainly because you want to use their characters. Uh, let me tell you guys, uh, the, the way I got the Marvel job, my very first Marvel job, is because the editor saw a Hulk drawing I did online, and he was looking for an artist for the Hulk. Okay, that's how I got the job. Okay, so you, these companies want to see how you handle your char their characters and see how well you could tell a story. So, if you're asking me if your sole purpose is to break in to the comic book industry, um, I would suggest doing submissions, but if you could do both, you know, why not do, why not do both? Uh, now the independent comic, my question to you is what are you going to do with it? Are you going to, if, if you're going to print it out and actually do a printed comic, that's different. Then you could send those out, like I said, and those are valuable. Uh, but you know, I, I, either's fine, whatever you want to do. I think doing the submissions for DC Marvel is probably faster, but you know, do, do whatever you feel is right. Okay. Uh, Tom plays CE says, how do you improve doing shadow and shadows, shading shadows, because sometimes I put random shadows on my art. First of all, don't make them random because shadows aren't random. Remember how shadows work, okay? Make sure you have a light source and think to yourself on your character what parts would be in shadow. What parts would cast a shadow? Those are the main, main important things. I, I could go really deep into this, but that's the biggest thing. Figure out your light source and then figure out how objects in your scene, uh, see the computer grace, how objects in your scene will react to those specific uh, light sources. So, okay. Uh, Mikkel says, how hard is it to actually get an editor's attention from major comic publishers like DC, Marvel, Top Cow, etc. from your art or story. Um, it's not hard getting their attention. Uh, it's the, what's ha the hard part is if they have a job for you. Or the hard part is, uh, or the hard part is if your work isn't good enough. Uh, it's, it's easy to get their attention. In all honesty, you could you could meet them on Twitter, you could meet them at conventions and all that stuff. So, actually, getting their attention is not too bad. It's uh, first of all, is your work good enough to stand out enough for them to offer you a job? Number two, is there a job that they can actually offer? So those are the two biggest things. Uh, so uh, again, not hard to get their attention. It's hard to get a job. Those are two completely different things. So that would be my answer to that question. So. Uh, by the way, his uh, suggestion is since your tagline at the end of your video on the main channel is keep drawing. How about for the JR show says, I want you to keep drawing, okay? <laughs> Very similar. Uh, Grimish still wants the black order, there you go. Uh, Christopher says, this is James, James Ray's. <laughs> Uh, I think we're trying to do a James Bond there, but then it would be like Bond. My name is Bond, James Bond, right? So this is this is Ray's, James Ray's. <laughs> this was one of the more useful Q and A videos. Thank you. After October, it'd be cool to see some tutorials and backgrounds like city landscapes or forests. Yep, that would be fun to do. I could definitely do something like that. Uh, I know that you've done backgrounds in the past getting started in the comic book industry. I think it would be great you hear your tips on rendering backgrounds. Yep, for sure. Uh, that's something I'll probably get into for sure. I uh, would also like to see a colored ink incorporated in a few pieces during Inktober. Well, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, it does, it says, I want to see Giant Man grabbing War Machine. That was your favorite scene in Captain America Civil War. That was a great scene, by the way. Awesome. Uh, also wants to see Hella. Yeah, maybe I should draw Hello one of these days. We'll see. Looking forward to the Loki tutorial. Thank you. Like to see Hella too. I think you could have spread the, out the whole tutorials more rather than posted all three on one day. Each step is impressive and a lot of useful data, but the content was was like posting three live streams in one day. I'm fine with that either way. Thank you for thank you for uh, yeah. It's just because of all this Inktober stuff that I, I post. Well, here's also the thing. I'm, I was thinking about it like Netflix. You know Netflix? You, they drop all the episodes at once. And that's what I was thinking. I'm the Netflix of uh, art tutorials. That's why. <laughs> I'll drop all of them at once so it's there right when you need it. You know, right when you're finished. So that's what I was thinking. Maybe all of you guys, you can let me know. What do you think about that? Me dropping all 
uh, parts of a particular tutorial on at one time. Let me know what you guys think about that. Okay. Uh, Lorenzo says, thank you for answering my question. In regards from Argentina, thank you. Argentina, Argentina, thank you. The Bat wants me to do Stefan Wolf. Uh, awesome, yeah. You know, I, well, I did want to do Stefan Wolf, but I'm having a tough time finding a reference for the whole costume. I was going to do Stefan Wolf uh, the other day, but I, I couldn't find the proper reference. So, uh, I'm not, and I'm not just going to make it up, so I uh, probably won't be doing Stefan Wolf. Maybe after the movie, we'll see. Okay, so uh, that is pretty much it uh, for all the questions for today. So thank you guys again for commenting on all my videos. They were really fantastic. Hey, hey by the way, I did drop a new episode of the James Ray's podcast of uh, yesterday. So it's up right now. I talk about going through my entire process of putting together my ultimate Star Wars piece and how I got invited to Alamo City Comic Con for the Star Wars 40th anniversary and how I got to get on the Star Wars show. So go check out that podcast right now podcast number two of the James race or the box officers podcast go check that out please also follow me on all social media and all that stuff and keep your questions coming I love the questions so let me know all your questions and I'll do my best to answer you guys are the best and my name is James James race <laughs> that sounds corny Christopher <laughs>